This is the true story of three undergrads who picked to work in a lab and have their lives taped. Find out what happens when science stops being polite and starts getting real. The Real Lab, Orthopedic Mechanobiology. Hello, hey. my name is Dr. Shet, and I understand that you all are University of Maryland undergraduate students who are looking to do scientific research in the Orthopedic Mechanobiology Lab. Uh, yes, yeah. Well, why don't I take you guys upstairs and you can meet the graduate students that you'll be working with. Does that sound okay? Um, Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. This lab is awesome. The Orthopedic Mechanobiology Lab is the place to be. Here we focus on the relationship between the environment and living things. The work done in this lab falls under a larger category called biomechanics, which is a relatively new field. Here, we focus on the mechanics of people and living systems instead of things like machines. So today, I'm testing the properties of intervertebral discs, which are the squishy little things that live right in between the bones of your spine. I'll be putting these discs in this mechanical testing system where I'll stretch them and push them together. Hopefully, by understanding more about these discs, we'll be able to solve some major problems out there, like lower back pain and disc herniation, something you probably don't want to get. Someday, I hope to be able to use this larger testing machine, like my mentor Adam. I mean, Biggie. Man. This is heavy duty stuff, Alvin. You gotta earn it before you can use it. So, how do they look? Ryan, I don't know what you did, but your cells are contaminated. Does that mean I have to start all over again? Yes. It couldn't have been me. It's Magda. Uh, so, I'm pretty upset right now. Basically, my whole project's ruined. I have to start all over again, all because of Magda. I don't even know where to start, but let me tell you about what I've been doing for the past couple weeks. I'm in the lab involves growing up groups of cells and stimulating them to see how they work in the human body. The specific cells I use are called stem cells. You might have heard of these cells before and they are the focus of a lot of scientific research today. The special thing about these cells is they can basically turn into any type of cell in the human body. It's kind of like a joker in a deck of cards. It can be anything at once. The ones I work with can even turn into bone cells, cartilage cells, nerve cells. It, it's awesome. Ryan's crazy. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm the cleanest person here. Oh, my soda. There it is. Magda, what are you doing? You're not supposed to have food in the lab. Go put your lab coat on. Yeah, you got flip flops on. You're not doing any work with it. Oh, geez. I don't know why Anshu and Ryan think I'm so messy. I know how important it is to be clean. My project absolutely depends on it. I work with PCR, which is polymerase chain reaction, and that's a method used to make hundreds, thousands, or even millions of copies of DNA. Okay, Magda, you ready to go? Yes, I am. All right. Oh, nice. Try to get out of here. Woo. Down. Ah! There's damn undergrads. They are so dead. 